The news reports indicated that Joan Rivers' autopsy results were inconclusive. I will tell you something. In 26 years of practicing medical malpractice and wrongful death cases, I have never seen an autopsy result say that it was inconclusive. You want to know why not? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. First of all, an autopsy is done to determine what was the cause of death. Why did this person die? And the doctor who performs this autopsy, this clinical examination of a person's body after they've died is known as a pathologist. So now the whole purpose of doing this examination is to determine why did this person die? Now, what will happen is the doctor will come to some preliminary conclusions to some basic idea of why this person died. Did they suffer a heart attack? Did they have heart disease? Did this person suffer a lack of oxygen known as hypoxia? Did this person suffer brain injury as a result of a lack of oxygen? There could be many different reasons for why somebody has died. And then the doctor will often send out bodily fluids, fluid from the eye known as vitreous fluid, as well as other types of fluid to then get toxicology reports to see if there were any medications involved, if there were any drugs involved, to see what, if anything, contributed to this person's death. But you will never see a medical examiner put down in an autopsy result inconclusive cause of death. You want to know why not? Because they always have to come to some conclusion. Now, they might have preliminary findings and they might want to wait till the toxicology results come back at a later time to give their final conclusions, but you will never see a medical examiner in an autopsy report say that their findings were inconclusive. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding into how wrongful death lawsuits work here in the state of New York, especially when someone has an autopsy and the autopsy results come back, according to the news reports, as being inconclusive. You know, I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own wrongful death matter. Well, if your loved one died here in the state of New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.